GPT-4 and GPT-4 Turbo are still miles ahead of all the other AI models when it comes to producing code. But there are a few tricks you need to know to get the best results. One common problem is GPT-4 can be lazy, leaving code sections empty. In this video, I'll show you the ways to get around these issues, including a brand new model that OpenAI has just released and a new setting you need to know about inside ChatGPT. Let's go. The first tip, which I find really improves the code logic and quality, is to use chain of thought prompting. Definitely research this one more on your own, but at a high level, it's a method to break down the coding problem into smaller, more manageable subtasks. And an easy way to do this is as a pre-step in ChatGPT before you ask for the code. So let's try it out. If I just give my requirements, in this case, I want a Python application that removes personal information from medical record. Then at the end, I say, first use chain of thought to get the tasks. What ChatGPT is gonna do now is before it writes the code, it's gonna break down the tasks. So it's gonna say, first, I wanna read the text file. Next, I wanna remove the personal identifiable information. And then finally getting on to generating and saving the PDF. And now if we tell it to go and actually write the application, the results are actually going to be much better, much better separation of concerns. So how it's had a separate function for processing the medical record, converting to PDF, anonymizing the text, etc. really benefited from that chain of thought. Another problem you might come across is GPT-4 Turbo being lazy, leaving sections of code incomplete, or adding a comment saying insert logic here, which can be very frustrating. One simple trick I've used, does limit this some of the time, is adding something like this to the prompt. Never use placeholders, shortcuts, or skip code sections. Always output full, concise, and complete code. But a brand new feature inside ChatGPT should help a lot with this. So if you go into settings and beta, in the general section, it now has a feature to always expand code output. So make sure you turn that one on. I think what's happening behind the scenes is it's using the latest version of GPT-4 Turbo. It's called 125 Preview, I'll show you that in a second. But I think this command actually tells it to always use that inside ChatGPT. So you shouldn't see that lazy code generation anymore. And when GPT-4 Turbo first came out, I did a video showing how it wasn't that great for producing code due to the laziness. But OpenAI has just released a new model, which is GPT-4 0125 Preview. And the biggest promised improvement is it's not gonna be lazy at producing code anymore. So let's go into Engineer GPT and run the same project again using this new model and see if the claims are really true. Okay, so I have GPT Engineer configured to use the exact same prompt I used in the other video. So this is creating a Python application that takes a patient medical record, removes the PI data, and outputs a PDF. And now I'm gonna set the model that GPT Engineer uses to the, the new GPT-4 0125 Preview. And now if I just run GPT Engineer again. All right, so it's working. And actually, the nice thing about GPT Engineer it actually does the chain of thought that I was talking about earlier automatically. So it kind of created specifications for all the different Python scripts it's gonna build. You let us know at the end how much it costs. So it's about six and a half cents to, to build this application. So let's look at the code itself. So it looks fairly complete. It looks like it did everything. If we look at the anonymizer Python file, it did add regular expressions for all the common types of identifiable information, such as zip codes, social security numbers, names. This is a really good start. It hasn't skipped any of the logic, which it did last time. So that's great. Now we have the power of GPT-4, plus the low cost and speed of the turbo model. So definitely check out this new version if you're generating code through the API. So we recently passed a thousand subscribers in this channel. I just wanted to take a moment to thank everyone who's been watching. I really appreciate the support. And I plan to keep going, doing videos like this about how you can leverage AI for your business or career. And I'm really excited to do some videos coming up with some real businesses and showcasing how AI can improve things in real world use cases. So if you wanna come along for the ride, make sure you subscribe and like the video. My name is Ben, and this is AI Unleashed. Thanks for watching.